Kickoff weekend of the 2022 high school football season. We are here at Spartan Stadium as Lima Central Catholic hosting Shawnee in what should be an interesting early season matchup. Patrick Handler, Scoop Miller here with you and the pregame and the keys of the game for tonight brought to you by Lima Chevrolet Cadillac, the area's premier Chevrolet and Cadillac dealer in the greater Lima area, serving Lima for over 100 years. We are proud to call this home. And Scoop is bringing in here, taking a look at the keys for Shawnee, who was really a short Cadillac ride to get here to Spartan Stadium, but what do they need to do to leave with a win tonight? Well, I think for Shawnee, you know, it's going to start with uh, staying on schedule. You know, they need to avoid penalties, avoid negative plays, and just really try to uh, extend drives, finish off drives, put a lot of pressure on that LCC defense. I think the other thing for Shawnee is going to be special teams. They need to kind of win the battle field positions. They can do that with great special teams play. They need to convert those extra points and field goal opportunities they present itself. If they can do that, they've got a great chance to extend their winning streak against LCC to four consecutive games. Lima Central Catholic would certainly like to end that winning streak as they bring a young but still pretty experienced team, a lot of seniors. How do they come up with a win tonight? Well, for LCC, it's really the same MO year in, year out, week in, week out. Uh, I think, you know, really for uh, the Thunderbirds, it's going to start in the trenches. You know, that's something where they've always hung their hat in the past. They like to be physical down front. They need to win the line of scrimmage, both on offense and defense. And I think that's going to go a long ways. The other thing is uh, something they're so good at over the years is taking care of the football. I think that's going to be big tonight. They need to win that turn of a chain. They cannot afford to turn the football over and give Shawnee a short field. And if LCC can execute in those areas, they can pick up their first win this series dating all the way back to week one of the 1984 season, even though this is only the fourth matchup since that time. Certainly a lot has changed in that time. Only seven points separated these teams last year. We'll see what happens in this year's iteration of Shawnee LCC. Those are your Lima Chevrolet Cadillac keys to the game. When we come back, we'll have kickoff between the T-Birds and the Indians right here on WOSN. The scoreboard for tonight's contest is sponsored by Web Insurance, serving Lima and Allen County for over 100 years with offices in downtown Lima and Bluffton. And tonight's instant replay sponsor is Layfeld Industrial and Welding Supplies with locations in Coldwater and Greenville. Getting ready for high school football action as we kick off the 2022 high school football season, and we start at Spartan Stadium. I guess this isn't the first game. We're kind of tied for the first game. Pandora Gilbo also in action, uh, which you will see at some point this weekend on WOSN. As we take a look at the officials for tonight's contest, John Derryberry, Charlie Gasparetti, Mike Sparks, Todd Clark, and Steve Oren calling everything, and we are appreciative of the officials as uh, it is well documented there's a little bit of an official shortage going on in the area, Scoop. And these guys have certainly paid their dues. Uh, three of those officials out there have over 130 years experience combined, the other two over 20. But uh, that's the experience crew, and uh, nice to see these guys out here. What a beautiful night for football here at Spartan Stadium. It is a great evening to get going the 2022 high school football season in the upper 70s. Maybe lower 80s, not sure. That'll drop as we get further into the football game as uh, Shawnee will receive the football first. LCC lined up getting ready to get this going. It is uh, camo night over for the Shawnee student section. They are uh, in force tonight over on the visitor side with the camouflage. I'm still able to see them even though that they are wearing the camouflage. So it's mostly effective, I will, I will say that. Some of the LCC student section in... Uh, cowboy gear. So we'll just say it's cowboy night, cowgirl night, western ranch night. Here is the kickoff, and we are ready to go. Short kick fielded at the 23-yard line and squirting ahead to the 36. Ball comes out, and LCC is on top of it. There's a fight for the football, and we'll see what they – say the aforementioned officials and they're going to see it's going to stay with Shawnee and there was some effort there second effort I think to get back on the football for Shawnee there scoop oh great job that time by the junior Garrett Looney to come up with that pigskin uh, watch it right here pretty good special teams coverage there by the T-Birds but there you see that's a 50-50 ball he's able to just draw it in there but wow a lot of excitement already Patrick but that's what you come to expect when these two teams meet especially on the gridiron 
Uh, Matt Sierra had it there for a moment, but Shawnee recovers it, and now we get a new look at the new quarterback for Shawnee, Dominic Lynch, and he hands off for a nice game, about five yards to across the 40 to the 41. Well, that's exactly what Shawnee needs to do, come out and establish the run. You know, last year their offense was kind of anemic. Their defense was really stellar, but they have to find a way to uh, stay on schedule, try to get those positive yards. A great start there, picking up four yards on first down. Jordan Banks with the carry, brings up second down and six for the Indians. Now Lynch dropping back, pass complete. Screen pass, but expertly defended by the T-Birds as they the gang tackle, and uh, not much of a pickup on that. Julian Makeley in on the catch, rather in a host of T-Birds. Looks like number 74 in there on the stop for LCC. Yeah, that's three-year uh, starter Jacob Locke on there with a big-time play there, getting a tackle in open space, going to bring up a – Huge third and six here in the opening uh, series here for the Indians. Here's third down. Lynch rolling to his right, looking downfield, directing traffic, picks up the first down. I think he picked up the first down. He stepped out right by the first down marker. And it looks like they will give him the first down. Yeah, they will move the stick. So that's a Indian first down. So good pickup. Using the legs for Dominic Lynch on third. Oh, what a smart decision there by the junior Dominic Lynch. You know, that time uh, they sent five guys out in routes, but uh, well covered. And that time that was pure uh, Lynch there making a play there. Huge conversion on third down. Lynch with the Senators National Bank first down, and they're back at it again on first down. And the carry this time going to Jordan Banks, and he is stopped for a modest gain, about one yard on that play. Yeah, that time, uh, great job in the trenches down there by Lima Central Catholic. They get a good push there at the line of scrimmage. They make contact there with Banks uh, behind the line of scrimmage. He's real fortunate to just get a yard out of that, bringing up a second and nine here. Gabe Sierra in on the stop. Brings up second down and nine for the Shawnee offense. Lynch dropping back, looking far. He's got a man open and just overthrew him, looking for Chase Beery down the field, and that'll bring up third down. Yeah, great coverage that time by Carson uh, Parker down there. He was locked up one-on-one -on -one with Beery, but uh, did a great job of uh, forcing a high throw. Going to bring up another third and long here for Shawnee, trying to get the ball uh, past midfield. That's a lot of length back there. Carson Parker, 6'2", 210. That's a big guy trying to throw around. We'll see what they do here on third down. They're just going to hand it off up the middle, get past the 50-yard line, and that's going to bring up fourth down for Shawnee. Yeah, nice uh, job that time uh, by that uh, Lima Central Catholic defense. I think uh, Ethan Frank is the sophomore. Made the initial hit uh, that time. Shawnee tried to run the inside counter, but uh, going nowhere. Great uh, hold there by that T-Bird defense. So the punting unit coming out for the Indians on fourth down and six. So special teams will make their debut for Shawnee, and this is going to get kicked, bouncing into the end zone, touchback. So LCC will shortly have their first possession of the 2022 season. LCC, of course, having a terrific 2021 season, finishing with an 11-3 and overall record, making it all the way to the regional final. you got to think, how do you replace guys like Rossi Moore and Sean Thomas? Well, they had Quintel Peoples and Travis Hoyle. That wasn't too bad. The questions that they're going to ask themselves this year, Scoop, is, well, Quintel Peoples and Travis Hoyle graduated, so now who's going to step up on this offense for LCC? Yeah, it'll be interesting to see. You know, i got, got to believe that uh, they'd love to see Carson Parker maybe get uh, 20 carries or more here tonight, try to use his athleticism. So we get started. LCC from the 20-yard line. Nine and a half minutes remaining in the first quarter, and here is the first carry for Carson Parker. He's out across the 20 before he is mobbed by the Indian defense. Second down and long coming up. Well, again, that's certainly what LCC wants to try to establish is uh, get Carson Parker loose there with his legs, but a great job by that uh, Shawnee defense. And Parker held to just two yards here on the zone read. One of the questions that uh, Coach uh, Pulte has for LCC is where are those explosive plays going to come from? Who is gonna who's gonna step up and be 
uh, that long offensive threat. We'll see here on second down, lowering the shoulder, getting the extra yardage. That's number 23 for LCC. So Gabe Sierra getting in on the action for the T-Birds. Uh, great job by Sierra that time. Uh, Shawnee read that pretty well, but uh, watch Sierra right here just kind of lowers his shoulders and he's able to get to about three or four yards after contact. So that's awfully big, makes it a more manageable third down where it's just third and two now for Central Catholic. One of the questions that Jerry Cooper has for his Shawnee defense heading into the season is who's going to be able to step up and, and solidify that linebacker core. A lot of their graduations last year came on the linebacker side, so we'll see what that second level is going to look like on defense here for Shawnee as Parker keeps the ball on third and short, and the Shawnee line responds to the challenge and forces what looks like a three and out. Oh, great job there by that Shawnee defense. Uh, looked like it was uh, Shandon Sewell there getting a tackle for a loss. So great hold there in their initial defense possession there uh, for the Indians. So they're going to force a uh, three and out here from LCC. One of the Indian captains getting the TFL, and that will force LCC to punt the football away. And a nice one is fair caught at the 43-yard line by Shawnee. So the Indians have pretty decent field position. They'll start near midfield for their next possession. While we transition here, I want you to mark Labor Day on your calendar, the second annual LifeWise 5K presented by the Tom Hall Family of Dealerships. The race begins at the Sunnydale House where LifeWise Elida begins its second year. You can go to runsignup.com and search for LifeWise. That's on Labor Day starting at 9 a.m. And off to the races is Shawnee. Nice pickup of about five or six there by Banks. LCC getting the stop there, and that's going to bring up second down, and looks like it'll be about four to go. About five probably, picking up a five on that play. Ball just shy in midfield. Here comes second down. Hand off to Banks once again. Is going to push the pile past midfield down to the 49-yard line. That will set up a third down and short. Well, that time uh, just kind of some smash mouth football going right at that 4-3 of LCC there. Able to kind of snow plow their way for a yard, maybe two. Going to bring up a third and short here for Shawnee and what may be four down territory here as they just uh, cross the midfield stripe. There's always that part of you as a coach, it seems like that you think third down and two, we should be able to get a first down. Here's Lynch with the keeper, is gonna stretch out past the 47 yard line and from the spot, it looks like there's enough for the first down, it is. That's Citizens National Bank, first down for Shawnee. Uh, great job there by Dominic Lynch. He knew exactly where the uh, marker was made sure he's able to lunge across there just enough to get that first down. Second first down of the night here for Shawnee. He takes the ball down to the LCC 45 yard line. Two first downs so far for Shawnee. None for LCC thus far, only on one possession for the T-Birds. Now Shawnee on first down, Lynch flushed out of the pocket, directing traffic, throws that one incomplete intended for Number 23, it looks like, Jaden Wheeler. And the pass, very close defense. LCC has played uh, really nice so far in the secondary, really tight coverage. Yeah, and again, great job that time by the sophomore, Matthew Quatman, who was locked in one-on-one -on, -one on the out route. But again, perfect position, great job, not only with his feet, but also with his hands. He's able to uh, force a tough throw into the turf. Gonna bring up a second and 10 here for Shawnee. Just shy of the 45-yard line as we come up on six minutes remaining in the first quarter. No score. Pitch going out to Christian Jones. And Jones picks up about two yards. Yeah, I like how that LCC defense is really pursuing to the football. Watch it right here. You saw the uh, quick pitch there to Jones. But uh, he meets a host of uh, T-Birds there is able to get the ball uh, just to the 43-yard line. So once again, Shawnee looking at a third and eight here, trying to extend this drive. 
We'll see if Lynch puts the ball up in the air. Well, first we're going to have a timeout. Coach Cooper's going to call a timeout. Their first one of the half. With 5.27 remaining in the first quarter, we'll take it as well. Still no score between LCC and John Eagleton. Tonight's timeouts brought to you by Metzger Financial Services, helping you plan your financial future. Call 419-225-6067 or visit MetzgerFinancialServices.com. Also, tonight's premier sponsor is TND Interiors. For quality you can stand on, visit TND Interiors on Allentown Road. LCC looking for a stand on third down, and the ball is out. They're going to say fumble, and LCC has it. T-Birds forcing the turnover, and they'll pick up in great field position. They're their own 45. Well, that time LCC rolled the dice. They went with an all-out blitz. And they were able to get great pressure there on Lynch. And watch it right here before he can get rid of the football. Watch him come there. One, two, three, four, five guys there. And there you see the recovery. And that's our first big play of the day there. We'll see if LCC can capitalize and take advantage. Yeah, as you saw the pocket collapse as that Shawnee line tested really for the first time on a third down and long and there you see LCC getting the pressure and forcing the turnover so T-Birds in business Parker in the shotgun first and 10 and there is the handoff and that is going to be stopped in the backfield Chase Beery getting back there with the TFL so Shawnee trying to respond with a defensive play of their own a uh, big time play by the senior linebacker Chase Beery uh, that time he's able to uh, slip through there on the uh, B gap and watch the tackle for loss coming up right there. Nice solo ta tackle there. Going to bring up a second 11 here for LCC. It's a good wrap up, good tackle in space and second down and 11 coming up for the T-Birds. Man in motion, Parker in the gun, second down. And now Parker showing keeper instead he's going to Get sacked. He has brought down for the loss as the pressure getting to him. Garrett Looney with the sack and a loss of, let's say, about 10 yards on that play. Well, that's a tough break. Carson Parker had a man open in uh, Sal Guagenti, but he lost the handle right there. But a lot of that had to do with the fact that he was getting pressured big time. And there you see the tackle for loss by Garrett Looney. That's a big time play. Going to bring up third, if we're going to call it 22, maybe 23. Third down and a cruise ship early on here for LCC. Four wide, and Parker's going to hang on to it. QB draw, picks up some of that yardage. He'll be tackled to the 36, but not nearly enough for the first down. And the Shawnee defense is going to force a punt. Yeah, big time hold once again by that Shawnee defense. That's their second consecutive three and out here to start things out here tonight. But again, uh, it is all predicated by those two tackle for losses on first and second down. And that time LCC, instead of making a gamble, just tried to play it safe, get some of those yards back. Now they're going to be forced to punt the football away once again. Try the field possession game here in this punt. See if they can push Shawnee back a little bit, field it at the 27-yard line. And picking up some additional yards, getting some blockers. There's only one guy to beat. It's the punter, and he gets the tackle. Shoestringed at the 25-yard line, but a nice return by Chase Beery for Shawnee, and the Indians are going to be the ones with great field position to start their third drive. Well, that's a tough break. That time Carson Parker outkicked the coverage. His first punt was just 27 yards. You know, that went for about 37 yards, but watch the return right here by Chase Berry. And just the, you see the shoelace tackle right here at the end there by Parker, but uh, not before they take the ball just outside the red zone at the 25-yard line. Parker saves the touchdown, but that may only be momentary as Banks with the carry out to the 20-yard line as he picks up six on first down. Oh, that's so huge for Shawnee to get those uh, positive yards on first down, stay on schedule. And that time, the senior Jordan Banks is able to uh, bowl his way for five big yards, takes the ball right to the 20-yard line there 
Well, you certainly have to be thinking this is probably going to be four down territory. Lynch under center is going to keep it this time. Finds a seam up the middle past the 15, down to the 14-yard line before he is tackled. Looks like perhaps Matthew Quatman in on the stop there for LCC. Yeah, great job by Dominic Lynch. A tremendous read on the zone read as LCC got plenty of penetrations. He's able to slip his way through there for a first down. Takes the ball inside the 15-yard line. We're going to have another timeout. So a Citizens... I'm sorry, Metzger Financial Services timeout on the field. 2.25 remaining in the first quarter here at Spartan Stadium. Tonight's first down sponsor is Citizens National Bank. See how we're building businesses one relationship at a time at cmbohio.com. And tonight's touchdown sponsor is Fat Jack's Pizza. Get to Fat Jack's Pizza before or after the game and enjoy their delicious pizza, fun games, and ice cold drinks. And we could be close to a Fat Jack's touchdown coming up, but LCC's defense is going to have something to say about that as that first down play gets about a yard from Shawnee, that'll bring up second down. Oh, what a big time play there by Jacob Locke there on the line. He's able to just uh, kind of a dive roll there, but he's able to uh, get a tackle after just a yard gain. So good hold there on first down, gonna bring up a second down in nine. Lynch with the pitch to Banks, finding a seam there on the right side, is gonna take it in for a Fat Jack Shawnee TD. Banks in from 19 yards out, and Shawnee strikes first. A oh, tremendous call that time by the Indians. That time they went with a quick pitch to Jordan Banks, and Banks is able to catch that with a full head of steam. Watch it again right here. Watch the nice blocking out on the edge there. And practically goes in untouched, so great possession that time by Shawnee as they're able to uh, punch it in from 14 yards out. Now the attempt at the extra point is up and good. Shawnee Indians strike first, thanks to the Jordan Banks 14-yard touchdown run. It is 7-0, Shawnee, 147 remaining in the first quarter. We'll be back on WOSN. Gethsemane Cemetery is tonight's premier sponsor for the LCC Thunderbirds and would like to wish them good luck in tonight's football game. Shawnee striking first and they lead seven to nothing here at Spartan Stadium for kickoff 2022. The first weekend of high school football action here on WOSN, one of many games that uh, you'll be able to see coming up in the next few days on WOSN. Not just football, we've got volleyball, we've got wiffle ball action also coming up. Love it. So if you're bored this weekend watching sports, you're doing something wrong. Here's the kickoff, LCC fielding is starting at the 15 yard line, full head of steam out to the 27 yard line before being pushed back. That's Quatman with the return. And LCC will start just shy of the 30-yard line. We'll see if they can get some offense going here as the first quarter winds down. 140 left in the first stanza. All right now, Shawnee, uh, Patrick, doing what they want to do. We talked about the importance of staying on schedule. They've done that. We talked about special teams. That time we had an excellent kickoff from uh, Tyler Kimmett there down to about the 10-9 yard line. And once again, uh, forcing LCC to look at a long field. They'll start out first down on their own 26-yard line. Man in motion, Parker is going to keep it. Breaks a couple of tackles and spins down to the 30-yard line. Wrapped up by number nine, Wyatt Morgan for Shawnee. Well, that's more what the doctor ordered there for LCC. They're trying to get uh, Carson Parker loose here on the edge, and that time he's able to uh, just use his athleticism, spin for a couple extra yards there, brings up a uh, second seven here. But again, they have to find a way here to uh, kind of pick up that blocking scheme. Right now, it's been pretty much a 4-3 look here from Shawnee. 
Parker back to throw, pass is complete at the 35, and that'll be good for a Citizens National Bank first down, pass complete to Quatman for a nice gain, and that'll move the sticks for the T-Birds first first down of the night. Now that's one way to loosen up that defense is throw the ball out in the flats, and there you see uh, Quatman's able to haul it in and gets uh, enough yards after contact there to uh, get the first down, the first of the night for the Thunderbirds, but they'll take it trying to answer that impressive touchdown drive by Shawnee. First down, ball near the 45, and Parker faking the handoff, but Shawnee is right there getting the stop, Reese Peterson. Keeping the gain short to about a yard for LCC. Now they're giving two yards on that scoop. Yeah, great job uh, by that uh, front four there of Shawnee. You know, they, they've got their hands full. LCC's got plenty of firepower on their offensive line. But again, they're getting great penetration and really uh, throwing off the timing of that jet sweep. And we've also seen uh, Carson Parker try to keep it multiple times, but uh, he's really been held in check. I think only one time has he got more than two yards on a carry. Indeed he has, and has not had a ton of time to throw back there either, so the pressure of Shawnee has been good. Really both defensive lines have been pretty stellar so far. Here's Parker on the carry on second down and looking for the sideline, finds it, gets just across midfield. Actually, they're going to down him at the 50-yard line. And that will bring up a third down and long, and that could be the last play of the first quarter. Four seconds remaining on the clock. Maybe they'll wind it for one more. Yeah, nice stop there by Dominic Lynch here, uh, not letting uh, Carson uh, Parker get to the edge. It's gonna bring up another third down. This time a long four here for the Thunderbirds. As this will most likely be the last play of the first quarter. Four seconds left in the first quarter. Four wide receivers split wide, third and long. Parker back to pass, and the pass nearly intercepted. That was number three for Shawnee in on the defensive end, going for the stop, and that is going to bring the first quarter. It's Joey Spiker getting in on the deflection. That'll bring the first quarter to an end. Shawnee on top, 7-0. Second stanza when we come back on WOSN. Web Insurance is the scoreboard sponsor for tonight's matchup. Coming up with the punt. They're down at the 16 yard line and Chase Beery is swallowed up there as Shawnee will be way back in their own territory as they start this next drive. Patrick Hamler, Scoop Miller here with you, bringing you the second quarter of action. Shawnee with the first score of the 2022 season, a 14-yard touchdown run by Jordan Banks to make it 7-0. And now the Indians with another opportunity to put together a drive. Well, I'd love to get some separation here in this second quarter after uh, their defense really did a number on LCC in the opening 12 minutes. Right now, the offense has a, a chance to come up with consecutive scores. But Patrick, you know, this series has been so good over the years. This is the 31st matchup between these two schools. Shawnee owns a slim 15 to 13 with two ties advantage, but 14 of the last 20 contests have been decided by a touchdown or less. Lynch rolling out on first down, pass is complete. There past the 25 to the 26 yard line, Jordan Banks. Hey, you know, he catches the ball pretty well, it looks like so far, in addition to running it. That's gonna bring up a second down and a manageable for Shawnee. Yeah, Banks is one of those uh, almost like a hybrid back, back, you know, where he now he can run it, but he also can catch it. And uh, he's the guy you wanna see get the football in his hands, you know, multiple times each quarter. And uh, Shawnee's done a nice job of going to him. And Banks will get the handoff, bounces off, and then is stopped as a couple of T-Birds in there on the stop. Matt Sierra, one of them also in on the stop. I think that was Cole Gross. No, that'd be number 58 for LCC, which... I don't know if he's in your program, but he's not in mine. He's not on mine either. <laughs> it was a great play. Yeah, it was, no doubt. In on the tackle. 
Third and short, and Banks throwing off a guy, and he's going to be close to first down yardage. He's marked down around the 30-yard line. A great job by Banks. If he gets that first down, it's all on a second effort on his behalf. It's going to be awfully close, but I think it was enough, and that will be another first down there for Shawnee, and that's huge because that will extend his drive. That is a Citizens National Bank first down. Thanking Citizens National Bank for their sponsorship of first downs in this matchup between Shawnee and LCC. Shawnee able to move the sticks and ball coming loose on the snap. And Lynch looks like he got down back on it. And it'll be second down and 13 coming up for the Indians. But that's the one thing you don't want to do if you're Shawnee, kind of shoot yourself in the foot here. We talked about the importance of uh, just getting positive yards, avoiding those negative plays. But that time on first down, they're going to lose a couple yards on the exchange there. So right now, golden opportunity for that LCC defense to not only get a stop, but maybe create some field position for their offense mm -hmm. that struggled through the opening 12 minutes. Shawnee is mostly stuck to the running game here so far. Not a lot of pass plays, attempted pass plays here so far. Here's a nice run by Chase Berry, and Berry picking up a lot of that yardage back as he's pushed out of bounds by around the 38-yard line. That's going to set up a very manageable third down for Shawnee. Yeah, tremendous blocking there on the left side of the line by Shandon Sewell and Alton Clayton, but watch it right there. He's able to get to the edge there. Nice job by Barry, making this a very manageable third and two third and coming up. Set another short field for Shawnee to pick up another first down. And as we said so far from the Indians, nothing flashy. There haven't been a lot of big plays, but they've just been able to grind out possessions, move the sticks. We'll see if they can do it here and pick up another first down. And Lynch is going to keep this one. And there might have been some confusion on that particular play, maybe a busted play. And it looks like he got enough for the first down, so it'll be another Citizens National Bank first down for Shawnee. And they just first keep down, moving the sticks down the field. Now yeah, credit to six-foot quarterback Dominic Lynch once again. You know, that looked like it was a busted play, and uh, he was hit well short of the uh, first down marker, but uh, great second effort, uh, did not have the knee down, was able to lunge ahead there. Another big pickup there on third down. Lynch with the handoff to Beery again on first down. Avoids a tackle, but can't avoid the second tackle as Matthew Quadman in there on the stop in the backfield. Also, Ethan Frankhauser back there for the T-Birds. I tell you what, Quadman's uh, had a stellar first half here for LCC. There you see a great pursuit here by a lot of uh, T-Birds there. Get some depth there into the backfield. That's going to be important to try to maybe reroute some of these uh, Shawnee running backs. But again, anytime you get a hold there on first down, that's huge. I want to give uh, Johnny McKee the credit there on the initial reroute, as you put it. So expertly scooped to force Beery to go a different direction and right into LCC's defense. Second down and 10. Lynch back to pass in trouble. Has to throw off balance. Just going to throw this one out of bounds. So the pressure from LCC has been really good. You haven't really seen uh, Lynch feel very comfortable back there in the pocket and making throws. It's been rollouts, it's been quick throws, but he really hasn't had a lot of time back there to pass on the rare occasions they've dropped back to pass so far. No, credit to that uh, front line there of LCC, particularly D'Angelo Russell that time, the uh, six foot senior. That time he forced a, a quick pass there. And uh, I think that time Lynch just wanted to get rid of it, not take a loss there. They're gonna bring up another third and 10 here. And a big opportunity for this LCC defense here to make a stand. Third down and long, Lynch back to pass, looking over the middle and overthrows his receiver. Was looking across the middle there, looking for number 10, Keegan Wilson, the 5'9 senior. Couldn't get to it, and it is fourth down. Well, I love the call there by Shawnee. They had uh, Keegan Wilson on a slant route, locked in one on one, but uh, just did not execute. Uh, the pass was air milled. That credit that LCC defense for forcing that passing situation third and long. So another punt for Shawnee. This one will bounce and keep bouncing. And it's going to roll down to the nine yard line and that is where LCC will take over on offense. Yeah, that's a big time play there by Shandon Sewell. Once again, the punter coming up with a 52 yard uh, punt 
And uh, just as important, no return. So right now they have uh, LCC pinned back inside their own 20. And right now the special teams uh, still continues to deliver here for Shawnee. And really so far it has been a game of field position, even on the scoring drive that Shawnee had. They had a short field. They didn't have to go very far to start with, and they capped it off with that 14-yard run. The rest of the time it's been pinning your opponent deep, having a lot of yard in front of you to cover, and so far both defenses have risen to the occasion. Yeah, no question about it. Again, Shawnee special team's been a little bit better. We talked about, you know, pinning them in. They also had that big punt return that set up that touchdown. Parker with a carry on first down and absolutely nowhere to go as he has swarmed by the Shawnee defense, and he will lose about three yards on the carry. Now that time the sophomore, Kaius Richardson, gets in there uh, for the tackle for loss. And again, both defenses really doing some positive things here, Patrick, this opening half. And right now, I think being week one, uh, the offenses are still maybe a little bit vanilla. We'll see if they change it up here as we uh, get near the end of the first half. So there's not a preseason in high school football. They're seven on seven, but there's nothing quite like putting on the pads and getting ready to go. Here's second down, Parker in trouble, way to evade it. Finds an open man in the middle of the field, pass complete for a Citizens National Bank first down as the pass is caught by Matt Sierra, who the 6-1 player was wide open there in the middle of the field, and that will move the sticks for LCC. Uh, great route there by Sierra, the senior, but watch the moves there of Carson Parker. What an athlete. He's able to uh, create some space here. He finds Sierra there across the middle. And uh, that's a Citizens National Bank first down and much needed there for LCC to get a little breathing room away from their own goal line. And also just to show that, you know, that intermediate pass is available out there that Parker can make that throw because I think Shawnee's defense had their ears pinned back a little bit, not really fearing the intermittent pass. And that pass is batted up in the air. Chase Beery knocking that one up in the air, falling harmlessly to the turf. And it'll count as a deflection though. That'll bring up second down. Uh, what an athletic play there by Chase Beery that time. He timed that perfectly. He's able to get uh, just a few fingers on it, but is able to uh, tip it away, and it falls incomplete. So good stop there and first down by that Indian defense. Still trying to uh, kind of win this field position battle, trying to keep LCC deep inside their own territory. Second down and 10 for the T-Birds. Parker fakes the handoff, takes up the middle himself, lowers the shoulder, picks up a first down, and is off to the races, shedding tacklers again, and the 6'2", 210-pound junior showing every inch and every pound of that. He's across midfield for the Citizens National Bank, first down and a nice pickup. Well, it really was. Uh, watch it right here on the zone read. They fake the jet sweep, but watch him make one guy miss. Then he makes another miss, picks up a huge block, and then he gets a few yak yards here, yards after contact, that takes the ball across midfield into uh, Shawnee territory. LCC has something cooking here. Down to seven minutes remaining in the first half, and the handoff stopped in the backfield, but still able to push through and get some positive yardage is Matt Sierra. He takes that out to the 46-yard line. It's like they had him stopped, and then he picked up three yards. Yeah, you have to love how hard both these teams are playing right now. The fact that uh, you have to earn every inch of real estate out there. Look at that penetration by that defensive line. But look at that second, third, and fourth effort. Uh, just keeps the legs churning. You know, that's only a two-yard game, but that's a heck of a play. That could have easily been a two-yard loss. It's a good second effort to turn that into a positive play. Second down and seven for the T-Birds. Man in motion, Parker. Stops back, throws, is going long. He's got a man open and passes incomplete at the 10 yard line. Matt Sierra looks like, I'm sorry, I take that back. That is Sal Guagenti. Looks like that might have uh, bounced off his shoulder pad, I think. We'll take a look at the Layfeld replay here, but he had him open. You're exactly right. That's the same play they had open in the first quarter where uh, they lost a handle, but that time he uh, looks like he threw a strike. But uh, boy, that's a tough play. That's one. Uh, you know Guagenti is going to catch nine times out of ten. But that was a golden opportunity that just kind of falls through. But uh, I like how LCC is taking some shots vertically. That's your financial services timeout on the field. 6.14 left. We'll be back.
Tonight's timeouts are brought to you by Metzger Financial Services, helping you plan your financial future. Call 419-225-6067 or visit MetzgerFinancialServices.com. 6-14 remaining in the second quarter. LCC on the move. Ball on the Shawnee 46-yard line. Third down and long. Parker rolling right. Pass is complete for the Citizens National Bank. First down, down to the 35-yard line. Ethan Frankhauser with the completion. A oh, nice grab by the senior Ethan Frankhauser to convert a big third down there for LCC. You know, that time Shawnee, they went with the dime defense. They dropped an extra defensive back in the coverage, more or less a prevent, but uh, did not prevent uh, LCC from getting the first down. We're gonna have another timeout this time for injury. Maybe some cramping on the field, so he's gonna get helped out. We'll take a quick timeout and be back here on WOSN. Tonight's first down sponsor is Citizens National Bank. See how we're building businesses one relationship at a time at cmbohio.com. And tonight's instant replay sponsor is Layfeld Industrial and Welding Supplies with locations in Coldwater and Greenville. That was Hunter Rapp from Shawnee who had to head off the field probably for cramping. And I would guess he will not be the last player that we see who has to deal with cramping uh, in these conditions in the first game in August. Now on first down and the carry stopped right at the line of scrimmage as Sierra is stopped for, I'm sorry, uh, Payne Cutlip with the carry on that play. Well, Patrick, you make a great point about the cramping. Uh, not only is it August, but you have temperature at game time, about 81 degrees, and then you throw in the fact you have turf that just absorbs that heat. And then you throw in the fact that LCC, for example, has eight guys starting on both sides of the ball Shawnee has five. Certainly as this game wears on, I think we're going to see a little bit more of that. Here's second down and long. Parker is going for it. Going for the end zone and incomplete. Once again, looking for Quatman. Had him open down the sideline and unable to connect. So LCC is, is taking their shots and they're open. They're having those opportunities. They're just not making the catches yet. Yeah, once again, uh, this is exactly what they wanted. They got one-on-one -on -one coverage. He had a couple steps on his man, Quatman did, but that time he had to look over their other shoulder, try to make that uh, mid-air adjustment, but uh, just couldn't quite come up with it. Tremendous effort, but it's gonna fall incomplete. Another huge third down coming up. You know, those over-the-shoulder catches look really easy when you see them on TV until you try and do one on your own. Yeah, no doubt about it. That's something that's hard to practice. Uh, it's called the misread drill, but something all guys try to do. Parker in trouble on third down, able to get the ball off and almost making it happen. Matt Sierra has the ball go in and out of his hands, and that'll be fourth down for LCC. Uh, tremendous effort once again, just to extend that play. Watch it right here. You're gonna see Carson Parker go out. Looks like he's gonna take a sack coming up. Fourth and nine. Able to kind of slip through, throws a dangerous pass, nearly picked, but also nearly caught there as it goes off uh, Sierra. And right now, it looks like LCC may just try to play the field position game here with still five minutes and some change left in the half. Trying to pin Shawnee deep inside uh, their own 10 yard line, perhaps. Parker, the punter for the T Bird. So there's always that, the fake is always looming for. LCC and the officials will blow this down and I think we got a, did we get a delay of game on LCC? Yeah, it looks delay, like we did, yeah. Delay of game, that probably will not hurt them, the fact that uh, Parker's got plenty of the leg to probably get this inside the 10 yard line. Well, and that also might but have been also, part of the plan just to give him a little bit more space to operate. Yeah, but what that probably eliminates is is the fake that you maybe right. alluded to earlier. But uh, now uh, we'll see what uh, special teams come up with here for both these schools. Parker with a high kick and takes a little bit of a Shawnee bounce. Not too bad. They'll down it at the 16-yard line. So uh, the Indians with plenty of green in front of them, but... For the most part, LCC able to not score, but they're able to flip the field a little bit and force Shawnee to have to take the ball. 
while they're switching things around. The 5K is coming up, LifeWise 5K. Mark Labor Day on your calendar, the second annual LifeWise 5K. The race begins at the Sunnydale House, where LifeWise Elida begins its second year. We have more to celebrate with the launch of Academies in Allen East, Spencerville. Allen East and Spencerville take place in September. Google Elida LifeWise 5K and follow the link to runsignup.com. Search LifeWise. Labor Day, 9 a.m. in Elida. Get your running shoes on. Let's race, you and me. I mean, you'll win, but it's not about racing. It's about running for a good cause. Trying to run for some yardage. There is Shawnee on first down and not getting a whole lot of it. Banks on the carry. I'm sorry, Chase Beery uh, on the carry and getting only, uh, actually stopped him at the line of scrimmage, it looks like. Yeah, again, great job up front. Again, the, the field position is so important here, Patrick. That's why I love the call there from LCC instead of risking on fourth down, just trying to play that field position. But now the defense has to do their part, get the football back. Still with uh, four and a half minutes to go here in this opening half. Plenty of time for both teams here. Two in the backfield for Lynch, and Lynch will hand it off. Up the middle, picking up a couple of yards and you know, you're not surprised to see, as you mentioned this earlier, Scoop, you're not surprised to see a vanilla playbook from both teams. You're not surprised to see some buttoned-up offense as both teams are not ready and probably not necessarily able yet to unleash their full playbook. But looks like Shawnee is just going to try and, and run the ball, see what they can see what they can do to try and get some yards on the ground here in the late part of the second quarter. Yeah, I'm certainly not going to try a second guess. Jerry Cooper, uh, you know, he knows the importance of not turning the ball over deep in their own territory. Their defense has played tremendous right now. So Lynch is going to drop back on third down and is going to look for it and passes almost intercepted, went right into the hands of Matthew Quatman, and that will be incomplete. And just as we're talking about playing safe and not turning the ball over, Shawnee almost does exactly that. Well, that time uh, Matthew Quatman there in center field uh, was almost able to come up with the pick. I mean, that's a ball he's typically going to uh, catch. Kind of hits him right in the bread basket, but uh, you saw the offense there. Keegan Wilson turned into a defender in a hurry there. He's able to knock it loose, but uh, once again, LCC going to force a punt. Should get pretty good field position. Every once in a while as a defender, you're just surprised when the ball comes your direction. Nice punt, fielded at the 37-yard line. Had to back up a little bit further, did Sal Quagenti to field that and is going to be stopped at around the 38-yard line. So LCC with some space to clear, but they've got time. They've got timeouts, 338 left in the first half and an opportunity to see if they can put together a 62-yard drive and put it in the end zone before halftime. Yeah, another great special teams play uh, led by punter uh, Shandon Sewell. That time a 48-yard uh, kick, just one yard on the return. So he's able to flip the field there with his leg, and that's huge because there's still over three and a half minutes remaining, plenty of time for LCC here, whose offense is finally starting to get untracked here in the second quarter. First and 10 for the T-Birds. And Parker with the keeper going right up the middle on first down and having some success now, starting to get more yards on that particular play. He picks up seven. It'll be second down. Yeah, great job by LCC. I love how they're really doing a great job of mixing up the pass and a run, just enough to keep Shawnee honest. At that time, Parker, who was really stymied there in that opening uh, quarter, he's able to come through with another big gain on first down. Going to bring up a second short here. Ball resting on the 46-yard uh, line of LCC. Second and short, man in motion once again, and Parker's going to take it right up the middle and picks up the first down. The Citizens National Bank first down across midfield, and so far making moves, but we've got a T-Bird shaking up on the play. Yeah, again, you have to love the play call. You have to love the fact they've got great time management going on. They want to make sure this is the last possession, but they want to give themselves enough time to punch it into the end zone. Yeah, right now, they're on track to do that uh, with a nice first down pick first up down there by the Parker. So Jacob Locke, a little shaken up on the play, but he's able to walk off to the sideline. So he'll get, we'll see if he gets uh, checked out. Maybe he just needs a little bit of a breather. You know, Patrick, last year when these two uh, opened up the season uh, at Shawnee in a 2013 Shawnee victory where they had a big pick 
six in the first half that was really the backbreaker. That was the first time these two teams had met since the 1986 season. <laughs> but nice to see these guys uh, duking it out here in week one once again. Something that could be a tremendous rivalry, as we all know. And all these kids read about 86 in the history book. Here's another long pass looking downfield and intended for Quatman. Quatman asking for a flag. He was double covered and maybe harassed, but looks like the pass was really not catchable, even if he was by himself. Yeah, great job by the secondary Shawnee. That time uh, they were not fooled at all. Parker's and as you mentioned, uh, they were thrown into double coverage. But again, yeah, still plenty of time. Still just second down here. You still have uh, 230 and some change remaining here. So right now you just want to execute. Don't have to get it all right here on second down. You'd love to get a big chunk of it. In motion again goes Cutlip, and this is Parker keeping it. Once again, gets out to the 45. So here in the last couple of drives, Parker's been pretty reliable, picking up four, five, six yards every time he touches the football. And you had mentioned at the beginning of the contest that they'd like to see Parker uh, rush the ball about 20 times. He's well on his way to that so far. Yeah, and credit his offensive line for uh, really making some good adjustments here in the second quarter, you know. Shawnee has gone from some 4-3 looks to some 3-4 looks. Sometimes that can be awfully difficult to block. But I think LCC's done a great job of, of picking it up and kind of winning that game in the trenches, allowing uh, Carson Parker to use his athleticism instead of having to reroute, you know, three, four yards behind the line of scrimmage like, like he had to do that opening quarter. Parker in the gun on third down. Pass is complete, having to dive ahead. And it looks like they will have enough for the Citizens National Bank first down. Pass caught by Sal Guagenti, and that will move the sticks for the T-Birds as we come up on a minute 46 remaining in the first half. Uh, what a play by the senior Sal Guagenti. Look right here, he's gonna be about a yard short, but look at that effort. Kept his knees off the ground there, is able to lunge forward there. Big pick up there on third down as we hit the uh, one and a half minute mark of this opening half, LCC trying to knot things up. Ball on the 38, Parker and flag coming out and hit coach Scott Pulte. Not happy, he's gonna be a false start on LCC. So mostly clean as far as penalties go. In fact, that I think that's the second penalty yeah, of the it, entire it's, contest. It's really been impressive uh, in week one. We've only seen a, a couple uh, flags on the uh, turf here today, but uh, that time it was on two and Quatman one on one and uh, kind of made that an easy call for the officiating crew. I mean, sometimes you see so much yellow fabric on the field, it's like there's a sale at Hobby Lobby, but we really haven't seen that so far in the uh, opening contest. Here's Parker, the pass complete to Quatman. Nice swing pass, and the ball comes loose, but I think he was down. Shawnee, well coached, jumping on top of it, but that is going to be a pass Parker completion, Quatman. and it'll bring up third and short. Ah, great job by Quatman after having the offside penalty. Comes right back on a quick slant. Is able to uh, lunge ahead there and gets uh, 13 big yards. Back to action, Parker. Back to pass, has time, and has Quatman open again at the 25-yard line as he dives ahead past the 19 and is pushed out of bounds or <laughs> thrown out of bounds maybe at the 18-yard line. That's going to set up a Citizens National Bank first down for LCC, and they're in the red zone. Well, look at the time that the line has given uh, Carson Parker there, something he did not have that first quarter. But that time uh, he had the option. He could take off and run, but he saw Quatman all alone there out on the flats and another big uh, CNB first down there for the Thunderbirds. 38 seconds remaining in the first half. T-Birds on the move. Parker back to pass, look across the middle, pass incomplete. Looking once again for Sal Guagenti and couldn't bring it in. And that'll bring up second down. And I, I would imagine regardless of how this game turns out, Coach Scott Paul is gonna have a talk about the drop seeds at the end of this one. Yeah, that time it looked like that was going to be a, a touchdown there for LCC as Parker threw a strike, but that time uh, just off the hands there of Guagenti. Big break for that Shawnee defense. We'll see if they can take advantage. And you're seeing that some of the 
And we'll have a timeout here on the field. Metzger Financial Services timeout as Shawnee uses one. And I believe they have one remaining. And we will take a timeout as well. 35 seconds left in the first half. Tonight's premier sponsor is TND Interiors. For quality you can stand on, visit TND Interiors on Allentown Road. And Gethsemane Cemetery is tonight's premier sponsor for the LCC Thunderbirds, and we'd like to wish them good luck in tonight's football game. LCC on the move, 35 seconds remaining in the first half. It is 7-0 Shawnee on the Web Insurance scoreboard, and the T-Birds have started to get the offense going here in the last few minutes of this contest. You've seen some passes by Carson Parker to kind of open things up, and the T-Birds have some options now at the 20. Yeah, I think their last three drives, they're starting to get a little bit more confidence each and every one. They'll see if they can finish it off right here. Parker with plenty of time at second down. He's got room to run if he takes it. Having to roll, and he's going to throw this one out of bounds. Good coverage there by Shawnee. And that's... You know, for, a, for an athletic quarterback, for a, a guy who can move, who can do the RPO stuff like Carson Parker, that's kind of the eternal question is when do you run and when do you throw? And right now, credit Carson Parker. I think he's made some very intelligent decisions back there. You know, for yep. a junior, uh, you know, a lot of guys in that situation, they want to make a play. You know, they want to try maybe sometimes to force things. That time, that was going to be a coverage sack. There was nothing there. He does a smart thing, throws it away. Still has two more opportunities here to get his team into the end zone. Parker again throwing a strike across the middle. This is complete to Quadjinti, and he stretches it for a touchdown. A Fat Jacks touchdown for the T-Birds, and they're an extra point away from tying this one up. Parker to Quadjinti for a 19-yard strike. And credit Quadjinti. He's a guy that just had to drop, and what's he do right here? He makes not only a great catch, but watch the second effort right here. He's wrapped up. He knows exactly where that goal line is. Tremendous effort there by the senior. And right now, LCC just an extra point away from tying this thing up. Got to feel happy for Sal Guadenti. Had the drop earlier and then has the catch for the touchdown. And now a chance to tie this one up. Michael Tafflinger with the extra point is up and it is good. 19 seconds remaining in the first half and we are all tied up at seven here at Spartan Stadium between the T-Birds and the Indians here on WOSN. Tonight's touchdown sponsor is Fat Jack's Pizza. Get the Fat Jack's Pizza before or after the game and enjoy their delicious pizza, fun games, and ice cold drinks. Carson Parker to Sal Guagenti for a 19-yard touchdown and tying this game up at seven apiece. Oh, what a huge drive there by LCC. Clock management was tremendous. They allowed themselves enough time to score, but did not leave a whole lot here for Shawnee as a uh, Shawnee now with just 19 seconds. They're going to need a big special teams play and a return here. If not, we'll probably see them take a knee to close things out. So the end of quarters being magic time for both these teams. Shawnee scored their touchdown with a minute 47 remaining in the first quarter. And LC LCC has scored their touchdown with 19 seconds remaining in the first half. So uh, I think you might be right. We'll see if they can get a return here. But otherwise, it'll probably just be taken at the half. Well, great special teams coverage once again by Caden Falk and company there for LCC. Penn and Shawnee inside their 30. So right now it's just 13 seconds left. Uh, we may just see uh, a knee here to close things out, but what a great first half this has been. And we talked about it, Patrick, uh, pregame. You know, the last 20 meets between these two teams, uh, 14 been decided by touchdown or less. They first met back in 1956 where they played the 13-13 tie. And right now we're halfway there and uh, we're looking at a tie here as well. So this is a great rivalry. You just mm -hmm. hope it's going to be an annual thing uh, from here on out for both these programs. You certainly hope that that's going to be the case moving forward. And one of the things that I am thankful for is that no matter what, this game will not end in a tie. 
<laughs> we will have a winner. Yeah, we did have two this ties one. in this series back in 56 and also 62 where they tied at 7-7. But uh, you're right, they will play it off no matter how many overtimes it takes. So a first down carry there, a Citizens National Bank first down. So Shawnee in about 12 seconds has been able to run two plays, and they're able to move the sticks. And now four seconds left. You know, we were kind of talking here, thought, well, maybe they'll just knee the ball and head to halftime. But yeah, uh, we're going to see right here. We're going to see Vanilla. We're going to see Superman here. We're going to see some kind of trick play here with four seconds left, and you're still uh, 60 yards away. We'll see what uh, Shawnee goes for. But uh, right now, probably going to hand it off and just hoping maybe to break a long one. Absolutely. Well, it's going to drop back and pass and stretch the field a little bit and has the catch there. That is Beery with the catch around the 41-yard line, and that is going to do it for the first half of action from Spartan Stadium. We are all tied up at 7. Back after a minute here on WOSN. Halftime at Spartan Stadium and the halftime adjustment. Locks Chiropractic and Weight Loss offers area residents good health through chiropractic care. Locks Chiropractic sponsoring the halftime adjustment. Patrick Hamler and Scoot Miller here high above Spartan Stadium, and we've seen uh, a lot of good line play, a lot of good defense, and really from both sides, just enough offense to keep the score tied at seven as we head into the second half. Yeah, this is the type of game I think you come to expect when you see uh, Shawnee and LCC duking it out. Uh, both have been really known for their defense in recent years. In fact, last year, Shawnee gave up just 13.8 points per contest. Meanwhile, LCC gave up just 19 points a contest. And considering the fact their offense put up nearly 38 points a game, they had a lot of possessions. You know, both teams really have hung their hat in the defense and showed here tonight. Yeah, Shawnee was a team that didn't have a whole lot in terms of offense. They did just enough to win games, and they uh, had a 7-5 and five record last year. And you've, you've seen that a little bit. There's still some, uh, you know, trying to get the pieces into the right spots. Uh, head coach Jerry Cooper thinks he really has uh, some really explosive players. He's got some talent that can uh, have some speed, some athleticism. They really feel like they can score a lot of points this year, and that may yet be the truth. But right now, LCC doing a great job on defense. Yeah, they really did a great job of keeping them in check. And I think you're right. You know, Shawnee, I think, can maybe be a little bit better offensively than a year ago where they scored just 15 points a game. And if Shawnee wants to take that next step, that's think that's where they're going to have to really emerge. Although give uh, Shawnee credit, uh, you know, last year their win against LCC proved to be huge. That's what kind of catapulted them into that playoff picture where they advanced to the uh, – Second round before losing to uh, Baden, 17-0. But again, uh, just the second time in 97 years of Lima Shawnee football that they actually qualified for the playoffs. So certainly something to build on. But this game will go a long way in whether they can uh, get back there in consecutive seasons. And Shawnee had uh, something of a, of a losing streak last year, but they did that against the really the cream of the crop of the WBL, which you would look at as the upper echelon of the league. And then the other games that you feel like, okay, these are games that Shawnee should win. They took care of business. Meanwhile, LCC, as you, as you mentioned, they lost this game last year. Uh, they rattled off eight wins in a row from weeks two to nine and really set themselves up for that regional final run that they went to last year. And they've got more guys on the team this year, they got 41 guys on the team, more than they have in recent memory, and that's one of the things I think that we'll also look for as we get the third quarter started is that one of the things that works against Lima Central Catholic is the fact that you get to the fourth quarter and they just run out of bodies. That ball sits at the 19-yard line, and LCC having to drop on top of it because Shawnee was going to possibly recover that in a very long onside kick. But LCC's got to feel pretty good about the fact that they've got enough guys to continue to throw out there so that the, the fatigue and the wear and tear of, of uh, 48 minutes of football won't get them in the end like it has in the past. Yeah, it's amazing uh, the success they've had. You know, they've been in the playoff five consecutive seasons, uh, 16 overall, you know, 18 uh, playoff wins in the uh, history of LCC football. But again, uh, they've done it with uh, low numbers, so it's kind of promising to see those numbers of north of 40, something that could help this program in the long haul. 
Parker with the football for LCC to start, and he's out across the 24-yard line. And the quarterback draw has been the play of choice so far for the T-Birds in this game, and so far it has worked pretty well. Parker's been successfully getting about four or five yards a carry. Yeah, they've done a nice job of kind of spreading things out, but again, it starts with that offensive line creating some space, you know. In that first quarter, I thought the offensive line was kind of getting moved in the backfield a yard or so, but now they're getting off the ball so much better. They're kind of creating some space there, and if you give a guy like uh, Carson Parker some real estate to, uh, to juke with, he can beat you with his legs in a hurry. He's done that a few times, and trouble with the snap and able to Recover it is Parker. Some miscommunication, some first week of the season things getting worked out still, and that'll be a little bit of a loss. That's going to bring up third down and nine for LCC. Yeah, there's really never a good time for that, to snap that time a, a little bit uh, to the right of Parker. But again, uh, all in all, you know, for being week one, Patrick, I think both teams have really done an excellent job in that first half of playing clean. We saw very few uh, penalties, and uh, we really saw very few busted plays, so to speak. Only two penalties uh, between both teams in the first half. Here's Parker on third down, rolling right, has time, throws across, pass is complete at the 33-yard line. Guagenti with the pass completion, and that is going to be a Citizens National Bank first down, first one of the second half for LCC. Oh, another big third down conversion for LCC, and uh, what a night for Sal Guagenti. As that time, uh, Carson Parker rolls out, buys himself a little time. He made a tough throw across his body there, but he threw a strike to Guagenti there. Huge first down. So ball now on the 34 and RPO, and that one is going to be stuffed in the backfield. Sarah with nowhere to go. He has stopped at the 28-yard line and a host of Shawnee Indians in on the stop. Yeah, great penetration once again by the big man, uh, senior Shannon. Shandon uh, Sewell there. He's able to uh, make that first contact, and uh, the Calvary not far behind him. It's going to bring up... Uh, Second 14 after the uh, tackle for loss. Four wide for Parker here on second and long. He's going to come here to the near side and the pass complete to Quatman. Quatman out across the 40. Pushed out of bounds at the 41 yard line. So he picks up about 11 of that back. And that'll make a third down and manageable coming up for LCC. Uh, another big time play by the sophomore Matthew Quatman. Watch him right here. Look at the yak yards, yards after contact. He's hit right there. Initially about 36 yard line. He's able to take the ball out across the 45 out to the 47. Makes it third and one instead of third and seven. And we've got a cramp. Probably going to see. A few more of those as we get going. We'll step away. 7-7, Johnny and LCC here from Spartan State. Tonight's scoreboard brought to you by Web Insurance, serving Lima and Allen County for over 100 years with offices in downtown Lima and Bluffton. And tonight's timeout is brought to you by Metzger Financial Services, helping you plan your financial future. Call 419-225-6067 or visit MetzgerFinancialServices.com. Keegan Wilson getting assisted on the LCC sideline. Keegan playing for Shawnee, but the Shawnee, or the LCC training staff getting in there, helping him work out his cramp. Probably not gonna be the last one before it's all said and done. Uh, Scoop or I may develop cramps before this one is all said and done as well. Here's the carry by Parker on third down, and it looks like he is. It looks like he has enough from the spot. We'll see what they what they say here. Well, it looks like he's got just maybe half a football there uh, to the positive side. Looks like they will move the chains once again. Another cramp. So trainer Erica Smith. Uh, keeping really busy tonight. Although I'm sure she'd rather be uh, have one of those boring nights on a Friday night where there are no injuries. 
yeah, the, the, the trainer always kind of wants to have a, a boring night. Well, if you uh, if you prepare yourself properly, you won't cramp up during the LifeWise 5K. Mark Labor Day on your calendar. The second annual LifeWise 5K presented by the Tom All family of dealerships. The race begins at the Sunnydale House where LifeWise Elida begins year number two. We have more to celebrate as the launch of academies in Allen East and Spencerville take place next month. To sign up, Google Elida LifeWise 5K and follow the link to runsignup.com, or you can just go to runsignup.com and search for LifeWise of Allen County 5K. Presented by Tom All Family Dealerships, Labor Day, that is September 5th, beginning at 9 a.m. in Elida. Hydrate, carbo load. Well, now we'll see if my uh, half a football assessment was anywhere near accurate or not as they're going to bring uh, the sticks out here for a measurement. If he's short, it'll bring up fourth down. They've got him set, and it looks like he's going to be about a football short. And right now, big decision time here uh, for LCC. You know, what? Uh, be interesting to see what Scott Palti is going to call here. What a great job he's done his nine seasons with the uh, Thunderbirds, 62 wins, just 27 losses. And uh, boy, that they've been to, uh, to the state semis three times. Uh, once under Palti there back in 2020, where they lost to eventual state champ New Bremen in that classic 28-26 game that basically decided the state championship as New Bremen kind of cruised in their uh, final game there to the title. And really started to reverse a little bit of a narrative that was forming that LCC could could get to the playoffs, but really couldn't get out of the first round. They've had some deep playoff runs here late. This is fourth down and short. They're going to go for it, and Parker is going to run this one easily for a first down and then some. He's out across midfield. A Metzger, I'm sorry, a Citizens National Bank first down for LCC. And you got to think, I mean, it's easy for us to sit up here and go, well, of course, you should give it to Parker. He's averaging about five or six yards a carry, but he gets it there, no problem. Yeah, we said, you know, the key is for him to get at least 20 carries on the night. I think he's going to maybe get north of that, but uh, that one awfully big there. Huge fourth down conversion. Uh, that time it looked like Shawnee had seven guys in the box. And sometimes that's dangerous because once you get through that initial surge, there's usually no one there. And that time a big gainer there takes the ball into Shawnee territory. And we saw that to a certain extent there, too. He picked about nine yards on that carry. Here's Parker with the keeper again on first down as the fresh set of sticks is for LCC, and he gets out to the 45 before he's brought down. Pick up about three on the play. And this is the type of drive LCC wants to have all season long. You know, with their numbers issue, they got eight guys starting on both sides of the ball. They would love to shorten games out. So they've done a nice job of, of running the play clock down to single digits for most of the night. Uh, they've all also done a nice job here really since that first quarter of, of starting to convert some of those big third downs. They've already converted the third down this drive. They've already converted the fourth down this drive. But just great job of making that Shawnee defense stay on the field. And Parker now going near side on second down across the 45 before he is brought down. Tackle applied by Wyatt Morgan. He was there at the end for Shawnee. That'll bring up third down. And once again, you're not going to see any temple here from this LCC uh, offense. Uh, more than happy to, to let this clock wind down a little bit, lengthen out this drive. But once again, looking at a third and seven, this would be another monster third down conversion if they can get it right here. Looks like they have uh, twins to both sides with a single setback. This drive over five minutes so far. Parker back to pass on third down, steps out of the pressure. Rolling right is looking deep, has a man. Pass is incomplete. And that'll bring up fourth down. Was looking for uh, Guadenti there around the 20 yard line. It was a good looking route. Just unable to bring it in, and that's fourth down. A look at the coverage here by Dominic uh, Lynch here, who's really locked in one-on-one. -on -one. That time just a little bit uh, ran out of real estate there on that uh, far sideline. That'll force uh, LCC to punt the football away, but not before they uh, move the ball into Shawnee territory. They should have pretty good field position right here. Movement on the line. We'll see if that changes the play up or if they just want to show Shawnee a different look. 
And Parker is going to kick this one away. Fair catch called for at the 16-yard line and reeled in. Yeah, like a little bit of a cramp there by Keegan Wilson. I like the shift there from LCC there to allow the uh, rugby punt there by Carson Parker to uh, give his uh, crew a little bit more time to get downfield. And once again, uh, no return for Shawnee. And that, that's a good adjustment I've seen LCC make. Remember that uh, big return we saw from uh, Shawnee that set up that first touchdown uh, that returned by Chase Beery. But uh, since that time, we've seen more rugby-style punts from LCC, and they've either uh, rolled inside the 20 or they've been fair caught. So the special teams has really stepped up here for LCC, and they've needed it here in obviously a 7-7 ball game. So Lynch under center for Shawnee. This is their first possession of the second half. Flag out as Lynch rolling to the left and almost intercepted by LCC as Guadenti in there on the defense, and this looks like it could be in the neighborhood of holding. If you look at the Layfeld replay. Dominic Lynch's pass falls to the ground incomplete. Yeah, there's Rupert gonna be a hold there uh, on the right side there, but it was right tackle. They're gonna decline the penalty. It looks like they signaled the illegal shift, I believe. In any case, they will uh, they will decline the penalty and they'll take the down instead. What an athletic play by Guajenti there, who almost uh, snagged that uh, football one-handed there. That would have been uh, one for the highlight reel. But either way, great defensive stop. Going to bring up a uh, second and ten here. Lynch back to pass, quick screen pass there onto the far side and able to squirt ahead for a gain of about six as the pass caught by number 13 for the Shawnee Indians. Well, that's a nice adjustment by Shawnee. I think that's one of the things that they probably talked about at halftime. Maybe they have to uh, mix things up a little bit more in first and second down. Really the first half, they only threw the ball in passing situations. And right now uh, trying to figure out that LCC defense, it's really Pitched a shutout other than that big uh, special teams return that gave Shawnee a short field. That was Michael Garlock who caught the ball. Here's Lynch rolling out on third down. In trouble, running out of real estate. Pushed out of bounds at the 21-yard line. So he's going to lose about two yards on that play, and that's going to bring up fourth down. Good defensive stand by the Thunderbirds. Yeah, it really was. At uh, that time, just no chance for Dominic Lynch. He tried to extend that play with his legs. Did a nice job of it, but uh, intelligent play. Instead of trying to force something deep in his own territory, he runs the football out of bounds. It's going to bring up a punt situation, but uh, with that kind of coverage there, it sure beats a turnover. But once again, LCC starting to win that field position battle, something they were on the short end of the uh, majority of that first half. Gabe Sierra providing the pressure on that play, and now they ball, and it tipped, and almost disaster for LCC, that ball going right into the hands of Ethan Frankhauser or maybe the knees of Ethan Frankhauser. In any case, he gets on it at midfield and preserves the possession for the Thunderbirds. Yeah, Frankhauser, Johnny on the spot right here. This could have been disastrous. Another good uh, kick there from Shawnee, but there you see the short hop. But Frankhauser literally just snakes the football, recovers it, and the LCC will have excellent starting position as the ball rests right on the 50-yard line here as we're just past the halfway mark of quarter three. So a really short possession for Shawnee time-wise. They had the ball for oh, about a minute. If that, I don't think they had the ball for a full minute. And now LCC back on offense with 545. Parker looking across the field. That's a completion to Quadman. Quadman breaks a tackle. He's going to take it in for a Fat Jacks touchdown. An LCC TD. And there you see uh, Quadman cramp up, but uh, it's not going to matter. It's going to be six points any way you slice and dice it. Uh, uh, what a tremendous call. We talked about maybe the importance of kind of mixing things up on first down. You watch it right there, the play action, the quick slant, and Quatman does the rest there as he hits pay dirt and LCC on top for the first time tonight. So Quatman and Parker connect from 50 yards out. 
And you got to like those seven second drives that get you six points. And now Tafflinger on to apply the extra point to give LCC a seven point lead. And the kick is no good. Extra point attempt. So 50 yards, one play. Parker to Quatman. 13 to 7 LCC now on top of Shawnee here from Spartan Stadium. Tonight's touchdown sponsor is Fat Jack's Pizza. Get the Fat Jack's Pizza before or after the game and enjoy their delicious pizza, fun games, and ice cold drinks. And tonight's premier sponsor is TND Interiors. For quality you can stand on, visit TND Interiors on Allentown Road. 50 yard touchdown pass from Carson Parker to Matthew Quatman gives LCC a 13 to seven lead here in the third quarter. What an impressive drive. Took all but eight seconds, one play, 50 yards. And uh, Quatman takes it into the end zone. LCC enjoying their first lead as they've now reeled off 13 consecutive points here against the Indians. And this ball is going to go out of bounds. So that'll get some additional yardage for Shawnee. And the third quarter so far, all LCC, We've not just in scoring, but also line. time of possession is the Indians have had the football for around 45 seconds. There's 537 remaining in the third quarter. LCC has had it for the rest of the time, and they only needed seven seconds on that last drive. Yeah, and again, their offense is really starting to click. They're doing a great job of, of really keeping uh, Shawnee honest, mixing up just enough passes and spreading things out, uh, faking some jet sweeps. And uh, Carson uh, Parker doing a great job of running the football. Right now, the defense needs to come up big here for LCC to keep momentum on their side of the field. And Lynch with the pitch to Beery on first down, and Beery is spun up and thrown down at the 36-yard line. No, oh, that time, a big time hit that time uh, from LC's Jacob Locke. His third year as a starter from that defensive end position. Watch right there. Boy, he's lit up like a Christmas tree right there, and uh, it's going to be just a short game. So great job by that LCC uh, front line there. Pickup of two, here's second down and Lynch rolling to the other side, pass complete to Beery. Beery with some space in front of him, pushed out of bounds at the 46 yard line. And that will be enough for a Citizens National Bank first down for Shawnee. Yeah, great job again by Shawnee. You know, they're starting to mix in a little bit of passing earlier in the uh, down scenario. This time on second down, the quick roll out and uh, Great uh, footwork there from Chase Beery. He's able to uh, take it uh, near midfield, but important uh, CNB first down there for the Indians. Here's the pitch to Banks on first down. Banks working that other side and picks up about a yard before he is thrown down. Now once again, uh, Jacob Locke uh, right there with the monster hit. Uh, Holding the end will just uh, gain a one, but watch it right there. Great job pursuing. It looked like that was going to be a gain, maybe three, four yards. Big time hit there. Looking at second and a long eight, maybe nine here for the Indians. Lynch back to pass. Bubble screen, pass complete, and just shy of midfield before he is tackled. Looks like Quatman in on the stop. A couple other guys in on it as well. Looks like uh, Sal Guagenti also in there. And Guagenti thought he was a little shaken off the play. Here's a Layfeld replay of it. Yeah, great pursuit that time from LCC. You know, that's a, a play that uh, you certainly kind of pick your spots for. That bubble screen was all set up. But credit to the pursuit here by LCC to hold that to a short game. Third down and seven. Lynch in trouble. Has to get rid of this one in the pass. Incomplete. Was looking there at the 43 yard line. Pass intended for, uh, that was Keegan on that play, I believe. And that's going to bring up fourth down. Uh, once again, uh, it's Keegan gonna Wilson, be, thank you. Going to be a short uh, possession here for Shawnee. Just a minute, 50 seconds uh, reeled off the clock here. And right now, uh, once again, the punt team comes on here. 
for Shawnee trying to pin LCC deep. A little low on the snap, but able to get it off, and the fair catch called for at the 10-yard line by Guagenti, and LCC with a nice defensive stand, and they will take over deep in their own territory, but you got to feel like the momentum a little bit on Lima Central Catholic side right now. Yeah, no doubt about it. We got another cramp as punter Shandon Sewell is going down with the cramp. But what a play that was by Sewell there. That was a, a bad snap. That was going to be disastrous. He's not only scooped it up, but then he's able to get off a 41 yard punt with no return. So another big time special teams play by Shawnee. But now the defense has to respond. They need that three and out to establish some field position for their offense that's really struggled here since that opening quarter. You want to talk about consistency if you look at uh, Shawnee's schedule. And, of course, you you routinely play the same teams over and over again because you're in conferences, and that, that's, not, that's not new information. Shawnee plays the exact same teams in the exact same order this year as they did last year. Yeah, and that WBL is certainly going to be a, a meat grinder as it is, it uh, seems like, every year. And last year you kind of alluded to it at halftime, Patrick. Shawnee, give them credit. You know, they beat the teams that uh, they were maybe a little better than or the teams that they were equal with. They pulled out those victories, and they got beat by the big boys. You know, they got beat by the upper echelon of the WBL, but uh, so did a lot of other teams as the WBL has proved to be so solid over the season. You know, Van Wert, Wapakoneta, St. Mary's, OG, I think were the four losses yes. for Shawnee, but then they – ran the table against the other five and they plus they got that big win over LCC in week one got them into the playoffs where they got a playoff victory you know their first ever in school history so that's got to mm -hmm. be something to build on and now if you're Shawnee you want to get back you want to try to take that next step and if you look at and if you look at their schedule again very similar and and I'm not saying that these are that these are slam dunks and I'm going to include the possibility that Shawnee comes back and wins this game tonight they have Bath, Salina, Defiance. So by the time they get to Walpock, conceivably 4-0, if they, if they lose tonight, they're 3-1, and one, and you start to think, okay, you got three games in four weeks that you've won. You're feeling pretty good about yourself. Let's see what happens when you go against Walpock and then St. Mary's and Van Wert. So it gets tough again, but an opportunity to prove themselves again like they had last season. You're exactly right, and that's why it's so important that you win these 50-50 games against these teams that can go either way, and certainly this is one of them tonight. You know, Shawnee and their, their history has won six WBL championships. The last one came back in uh, 2008 where they were a four-way tie with Kitt and St. Mary's Defiance. But you have to go all the way back to 1963, the last time that Shawnee was the outright WBL champ. So they want to get in that conversation. They want to be able to compete with those teams at the upper uh, part of the standings. And they've made some strides there in Jerry Cooper's five years, no question about it. I mean, in fact, the five years prior to Coach Cooper's arrival, Shawnee with just 9-41. and 41. The fact they've won 19 games in just four seasons under Cooper, I think, tells you all you need to know. This program certainly heading in the right direction. So Shannon had to be helped off while we were uh, away, or while we were talking, rather. So maybe a cramp, maybe something more significant. Hopefully he's able to get back into action here before too long. And now Lima Central Catholic will start their next possession, third one of the quarter, 347 left in the third quarter. And holding on to a six-point lead. Here's Parker holding on to the football on first down. And this time, Shawnee wanting nothing to do. And they're going to get a flag at the end of that play. So a little bit, maybe a frustration coming out for the Shawnee Indians as that's going to get that uh, tackle for loss is pretty much going to get wiped out. They're going to get a 15-yard penalty. Boy, that's a tough break. You know, after... Uh Great special teams play, pins them inside to 10. Now you're going to get a tackle for loss. Watch the great penetration coming up right there from Carter Fay, but uh, just a little bit uh, too much there. After the whistle sounded, after the forward progress, and instead of being pinned back by the five-yard line, looking at second and long, that's going to be an automatic first down and gives them much needed breathing room as LCC will take the snap from approximately the 24-yard line here. So what a huge break there for LCC. And now they're going to tack so on a, an extra. That's a, a sideline. -like. Yeah, so the sideline now also getting into it. So a 
10 yard loss around that area has turned into a 30 yard gain for LCC. Yeah, the ball was on the nine yard line, looked like a big tackle for loss, and now it's first down at the 39. So this is one of those could be game changers, but if you're uh, Shawnee, you have to flush it, come out, win the next play, try to get another tackle for loss right here. Parker hangs on to it on first down and tackled after a gain of about two. So following the Citizens National Bank first down via the penalty and then 15 more yards, they pick up two, you know, it's like two yards on that carry by Parker. Well, that time a very inspired uh, Shawnee defense trying to rise to the occasion right here. Watch the pursuit coming from the secondary. There you see a nice hit there. Didn't quite get the number, but again, uh, right now, uh, both these teams want this game awfully bad. And right now, LCC just wants to get one of their patented methodical drives here, take some time off the clock, shorten the game. They'd love to get a little separation here up by just a score. Coming up on two and a half minutes remaining in the third quarter. Second down and long screen pass out to the near side. Breaks the tackle, gets away to the 30, off to the races, and able to stay in bounds. Keeps his feet down to the 10 yard line. Nice athletic play there by number five, Payne Cutlip, who's been the man in motion in the backfield, and he has been the man in motion now down the field for LCC for a Citizens National Bank first down. They'll watch it right here on the uh, throw out to the flash, but look at the block right there that's gonna free him up. And there you see the Jets turned on there by Payne Cutlip there. He takes it all the way down into the red zone and what a change of events here the last few plays here lcc would love to make this a two possession game and we're going to have another injury timeout maybe a cramping timeout lcc fired up in the red zone again can they punch it in 13 to 7 lcc on top of shawnee we'll step away and come back Tonight's instant replay sponsor is Layfeld Industrial and Welding Supplies with locations in Goldwater and Greenville. And Gethsemane Cemetery is tonight's premier sponsor for the LCC Thunderbirds and would like to wish them good luck in tonight's football game. A couple of yards there on first down as LCC is in the red zone for the second time tonight, under two minutes in the third quarter. And a touchdown by LCC. I'm not saying that's going to clinch this deal, but I'll tell you what, this has been quite the turn of events for Lima Central Catholic on this particular drive, a drive that started back behind their own 15-yard line, and here they are knocking on the door. Yeah, you thought LCC would probably get conservative uh, inside their own 10-yard line, but that those two penalties really opened the door. Parker with the carry on, second down, spin move, and he gets in for an LCC TD. A Fat Jacks touchdown, and they cap off the 86-yard drive with a Parker touchdown. Yeah, great job once again by Carson Parker, who took his shot on the play before, but watch it right here on the quarterback keeper. He's hit about the six-yard line. He's able to spin his way through. And look how he just bowls his way to the end zone. You talk about a young man wanting it. Credit to Parker. He comes up big there with the touchdown. And now uh, LCC will look to tack on one more here. Up by 12. Tafflinger back out to attempt the extra point. And this one is up and it is good. 20 unanswered points by Lima Central Catholic and they have a 20 to seven lead here on WOSA. Tonight's scoreboard brought to you by Web Insurance. Web Insurance serving Lima and Allen County for over 100 years with offices in downtown Lima and Bluffton. We are close to downtown Lima tonight here at Spartan Stadium and Lima Central Catholic has taken a 20 to seven lead over Shawnee with 118 remaining in the third quarter. Patrick Hamler, Scoop Miller and LCC has uh, taken advantage of some big plays. They've taken advantage of some Shawnee miscues and. 
find themselves in good shape here late in the third. They've also taken advantage of their senior offensive line and D'Angelo Russell, Tyler Shipman, Buddy Bryant, James Patton, and Jake Locke. Those guys are not only opening some holes, they're buying some time for quarterback Carson Parker, and uh, he's letting him, his uh, legs kind of do the rest, but uh, what an impressive 20-0 run. A short kick, and LCC is going to fall on top of this. No, it goes out of bounds. Did they recover it in time? The referees are going to say, I, I think they're going to give this to Shawnee. I think it was yeah, out of no, bounds. They're going to rule no before control. He recovered it. No yes. control before the ball landed out of bounds. That's a tough break. That was one of those pooch kicks by design, kind of no man's land. And when Shawnee was kind of hesitant to go after it, that's a live football. But watch it right here on the replay coming up. There you see the pooch there. And no one going after it till late. And there you see the nice effort trying to tap it out of bounds. And there it just goes out of bounds before they can secure it. Great job uh, trying to sell it there by the uh, LCC coaching staffs. Officials have none of it. And uh, Shawnee will have perhaps their best starting position since the first quarter. Here's the pitch. And Berry with some space. Stays in bounds past the 40 to the 35. And that is good enough for a Citizens National Bank first down and a nice gain of like about 25 on the carry by Chase Beery. And Shawnee needed that badly. They really did. Watch the timing of this. He's got just a hole for just a second, but he gets through there, picks up a couple nice blocks. And then a great job here with the pursuit coming by Quatman to turn him back to the middle, but not before a big pickup. It takes the ball down to the 32-yard line of the T-Birds, golden opportunity here for the Indians. Indians in business, first down. This is the handoff to Banks, trying to bounce it to the outside and pushing LCC guys ahead and some of his own guys as well. He's going to pick up about five on that carry as we tick down below 40 seconds here in the third quarter. Uh, what a big time run by Jordan Banks right there. He's kind of stood up there. That looks like a rugby scrum right there, but watch how he's able to get about five yak yards there. That's huge. Makes it second to five here coming up. Here's a pitch to Banks on second down. Cuts back inside, and he's going to be swallowed up at the 26-yard line. And it'll make it a third down and about a long, say, three and a half coming up for Shawnee. And that will probably be the last play of the third quarter. Well, you have to be impressed how both teams continue to be physical down there in the trenches and LCC there. That was a great stop there to, to keep that a minimal game, but that will be the last play of the third quarter. And what a good one it was for LCC as they jump on top of Shawnee. 27 here with uh, 12 minutes remaining. Four fingers in the air. Let's see what happens. Fourth quarter on the way here on WOSN. Tonight's timeouts are brought to you by Metzger Financial Services, helping you plan your financial future. Call 419-225-6067 or visit MetzgerFinancialServices.com. We head to the fourth quarter as the teams make the travel from one side of the field to the other. LCC and Shawnee in action from Spartan Stadium. Patrick Hamler, Scoop Miller, LCC with 20 unanswered points here since the first quarter. But Shawnee... Going to try and answer here in the first quarter, in the fourth quarter rather. Here's Lynch on the carry. He's going to get the Citizens National Bank first down. And he is out around the 20 yard line. Yeah, great lead. Read that time by Lynch on the rollout. Uh, nothing open on the edge, but watch how he cuts it back right there, finds the seam there, and knows exactly where the first down marker is. Dives, gets the ball out uh, just outside the 10 yard line. First and 10 here from, uh, we'll call it the 11 here for the Indians. And Lynch with the keeper on first down, pushes the pile ahead to, uh, they're going to mark him around the 16 yard line. Clock of Seabirds coming in to stop Lynch on the play. Second red zone possession of the night for Shawnee. They scored their one and only touchdown late in the first quarter. It was a 14 touchdown run by Jordan Banks Second on this side of the field. To go. And that's been all the scoring so far for Shawnee. But they're going to try and punch it in. Here's Banks again. Same side on the pitch. Gets the Citizens National Bank first down. Pushed out of bounds. Past the 10-yard line. Well, that's the same play that uh, Shawnee scored that touchdown on in the first quarter. The Thanks quick pitch to Jordan Banks trying to get around the right edge. 
And watch it right here. Nice job getting the ball out there in space. Look at the great uh, surge there from the right side of that offensive line there for Shawnee. Create some space here. And now they're looking at uh, four down territory. First and goal just inside the 10. Without a doubt, ball comes loose. Lynch falls on top of it. Looks like they're going to preserve the possession. That'll be second down for Shawnee. And I don't know if that would have been disastrous or not, but that would have been pretty close to that. Yeah, I think it's awfully important. you still got plenty of time. I just think from a mental standpoint, Shawnee has to punch it in here, make this a one-possession game where anything can happen. But uh, though it's the last thing you want to do, shoot yourself in the foot. Now they're off schedule. We'll see what they have drawn up here on second and goal from the ball just outside the 11. Lynch with the pitch to Banks, going to work that. Uh, right side again and get some of that yardage back. He's down at the six yard line. So it'll make it third down and goal from the six. The yeah, once again, they go right back to it. They double up on Banks here with the quick pitch. He's able to uh, get part of that back. So nice run there from the senior. So of course, a number of options available for Shawnee that pitch to Banks. Uh, getting Banks involved in some form or fashion. Of course, Beery was the one who had the long 25-yard run to get them in this position. Or Lynch puts it up. We'll see what they do. Third and goal. Lynch forced backwards, rolling, looking. Back of the end zone, and it's going to be incomplete. Feet out of bounds. Had it right there. Chase Beery, I believe, was the recipient on that pass. Just had his feet just about a foot too far. Here's the Layfeld replay of it. Uh, watch it right here, the rollout by Lynch. He's going to drop a dime here, but uh, unable to come down with uh, one foot in here. You'll see it. The left foot came down first out of bounds. Well, that's a tough break. He comes down with the right foot there. That's probably going to be a touchdown. Instead, we're looking at fourth and goal here. Without a doubt here, the biggest play of the game to this juncture. That was Michael Garlock again, and you are absolutely right. Fourth and six, and... LCC is going to take a timeout, a Metzger Financial Services timeout, and talk over strategy. Big fourth down, probably biggest of the game so far. LCC up 13. Shawnee trying to get into it when we come back. Tonight's instant replay sponsor is Layfeld Industrial and Welding Supplies with locations in cold water and Greenville. Fourth down and goal coming up for the Shawnee Indians looking for their first score since the first quarter of this one. That was a 14 yard touchdown run by Jordan Banks and a big play coming up here for Shawnee. It is not the game by any stretch of the imagination, but you got to think Scoop Miller. Uh, Shawnee needs this from a psyche perspective they need this from a staying within one score perspective they really need this 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 touchdown they really do lcc already has a lot of momentum this would give them a ton more but uh, right now we'll see what they got up their sleeve here lynch rolling out in trouble throws this one off balance looking end zone knocked away in the end zone and a big stand by lcc and they'll take over on downs matthew quatman getting in there on the stop for the t-birds uh, what a smart play by the sophomore. That time uh, looked like Lynch just kind of threw up a jump ball. Feeling the pressure, had to get rid of it, couldn't take a sack. He really got nothing to risk right here, but Quatman does a smart thing. Instead of trying to pick it off there near the one-yard line, he just swats it out of bounds. And uh, LCC holds strong there. Defense comes up big again. Ethan Frankhauser providing a lot of pressure on Dominic Lynch, really forcing him to keep running and just having to get rid of the football. Just great defense all the way around by LCC as we've got an injury timeout. Looks like a, another young man is down with a cramp. They'll, they'll work on him and we'll step away. LCC with a big defensive stop. They take over when we come back, 27.
Mark Labor Day on your calendar. The second annual LifeWise 5K presented by the Tom All family of dealerships. The race begins at the Sunnydale House where LifeWise Elida begins its second year. Also more to celebrate with the launch of academies at Allen East and Spencerville. Go to runsignup.com and search for LifeWise. It's the LifeWise of Allen County 5K presented by Tom All. Labor Day, September 5th, 2022 at 9 a.m. in Elida. Still in searching for that runner's high that they talk about, Scoop Miller. I have not found it yet. It may be mythological like the pot of gold. And flag on the play. And something mythological has been flags. I haven't really seen a whole lot of them in That's, this contest so far. It's going to be defensive uh, offsides there. A little bit too aggressive there uh, in the trenches. So a break once again uh, for LCC. We saw that last time they were pinned inside their own 10-yard line where penalties really gift wrapped at the mm -hmm. last touchdown for LCC to make this a two possession game. They got a huge chunk of their total yardage on that drive in uh, two plays. And here's Parker with the carry on first and five. And he is brought down at around the 15 yard line. Yeah, another tremendous run there uh, by the junior quarterback, Carson Parker who uh, now is north of 20 carries on the game. But, to, you know, at this stage, fatigue starts setting in. So if you're Parker, you have to really do a good job protecting the football. Right now your defense has been huge. Just don't turn it over. Give Shawnee a short field to work with. But watch it one-handed right there. I think he wants to maybe tighten it up. You saw the tackle come in there by number 20, Carter Fay, trying to strip the football. And once again, like we've seen so many times tonight, another cramp issue. Yeah, as we get further into this contest, we're going to see this more and more. Actually, we've been seeing it pretty consistently here over the uh, the last few minutes of, of game time. And as we get, it's still pretty warm out. And these kids have been out here, and it's been hot. So we're going to see uh, quite a few more of these before it's all said and done. And we're thankful that they're just, they're just cramps. Um, anyway, in any case, we'll step away, take another time out. You are watching High School Football here on WOSN. Tonight's premier sponsor is TND Interiors. For quality you can stand on, visit TND Interiors on Allentown Road. Second down and one coming up for LCC as the play stopping a little bit more than it had in the first few quarters, having some cramping issues and things like that are starting to come up. And the uh, clock is running, so you see LCC is in. Uh, really chew clock mode at this point in time. Yeah, they're going to let the play clock go down to single digits pretty much like they've done all night, but uh, just smart uh, time management there by the T-Birds. They're going to convert once again on a strong run for a first down, but uh, that's going to be a CNB first down. Nice run by Gabe Sierra there. The senior just pulls his way forward. And this is what LCC wants to do here, shorten this game out. Try to get three or four yards of crack, just keep moving the chains and uh, making uh, things a little bit more difficult for Shawnee. But there you see Sierra doing what he does so well, just hard nosed football. Sierra, yeah, yeah Sierra just lowering the shoulder there on uh, Christian Jones, who uh, made the tackle, but he, he paid for it <laughs> without a doubt. And that, uh, as you said, a CMB first down, that moves the sticks. And this is Parker again on the keeper on first down. Gets across the 30, I'm sorry, the 25 to the 29-yard line before he is brought down. And this is the type of play that LCC can, can just keep, keep doing. They've had a lot of success on the ground. They can chew this clock up, get four or five yards, five, six yards of carry. Uh, they'll, they'll notch a win here tonight. Yeah, it's been impressive what they've been able to do really since that first quarter. I thought they made some great adjustments, and now they're just really kind of wearing into Shawnee. That says a lot when you've got uh, eight guys really starting on both sides of the ball, especially this early in the season, an August game in the heat on turf. But uh, LCC has been up to the task here, just trying to close things out. And here's Parker again on the keeper, has some space, gets the Citizens National Bank first down, and then some before he is stopped 
at the 38-yard line. Tackle applied, I think, by Wyatt Morgan there for Shawnee, and that will move the sticks again. Yeah, nice uh, hit there by Wyatt Morgan, the DB, but not before another Citizens National Bank uh, first down here for the T-Birds. And again, just uh, they're going to eat up that play clock, try to maybe just keep things uh, very simple here. Why not? You know, they're, they're getting positive yardage. They've avoided penalties. They've avoided negative plays. And that Shawnee defense has been on the field a long time here in the second half. So LCC has pretty much dominated time of possession here in the second half. This is uh, Sierra, and guys just bouncing off of Gabe Sierra. He's tackled at the 45-yard line, and uh, Sierra is not 100% fresh. He plays a lot of defense, and he's usually the, the guy on the fake handoff on the RPOs, but I'll tell you what, he's had a full head of steam these last couple of carries he's had. Yeah, he's not really the hit E. He's a hitter right there, but uh, you saw initial shot there by the sophomore Joel Stern there, Sean E. But he's still, still able to get a couple of yards after that big hit. And once again, LCC just going to melt the clock down as we're now uh, near the halfway point of quarter four. And LCC has really dominated time possession here in this second half. LCC has pretty much controlled this one since the beginning of the second half. And here's Parker pushing it forward again, and that'll bring up third down and short as he gets close to the 47, between the 47 and the 48-yard line. Yeah, this has been a really impressive drive here by LCC. And again, this is one of these drives where you don't have to really put points on the board at this juncture. What you want to do is keep moving the sticks, take time off the clock, and even if you give the football away, you want to give it away where you can pin Shawnee deep in their own territory where you still have a two-score advantage and clock now starting to figure in as we're under the six-minute mark here. So officials time out. They're going to measure. So the stick has come out as they take a look at that. And uh, you're absolutely right. Even if you don't score, you can pin Shawnee deep and rely on your defense. The other side of that, of course, is that a lot of the guys that are on LCC's offense are also on their defense. So there's a, there's a certain factor of maybe wearing down a little bit as a Citizens National Bank first down happens once again for LCC. And the T-Birds able to move the six once again and keep this drive alive. And with that first down, LCC will just let the play clock, which is at 40 right now. They're going to let this thing go down to single digits. But I think this is a good timeout here by Shawnee to avoid the runoff here. So Shawnee's going to burn one of their timeouts here. Still trailing big here at the halfway point of quarter four. Metzger Financial Services timeout, and we are at 549 left in the game. LCC up by 13. Tonight's timeouts are brought to you by Metzger Financial Services, helping you plan your financial future. Call 419-225-6067 or visit MetzgerFinancialServices.com. 5.49 remaining in the game. LCC up 20-7 to on the Web Insurance scoreboard and with the football. Parker with the carry on first down and gets about 10 there. Looks like he's going to be close to a Citizens National Bank first down. Yeah, that's right on the line there. That's going to be a, another uh, close decision here. We'll see if they bring the chains out or not. guess they're going to rule it maybe just a few inches short. But either way, uh, impressive run on first down once again here by the junior quarterback, Parker, who's had a monster second half. You know, heading into this game, these were uh, two teams that felt pretty good about their their line play I know uh, for Shawnee they felt they had a lot of experience coming back but LCC's line has had a great game here is Sierra on second down easily picking up the Citizens National Bank first down and he's uh he's a little bit of a, a change of pace back which you wouldn't necessarily think of in this particular offense Parker and, and Sierra Really kind of similar body type, similar build, similar running style, but Sierra just kind of takes off like he shot out of a cannon, and that's not something that Shawnee's had to deal with with Parker running the football a lot tonight. No, he's not an easy guy to bring down. You know, he's not a guy you want to tackle in open space. You need to really gang tackle him. And this Shawnee defense has really played hard tonight, but they're just kind of wearing down here 
by the constant uh, pressure of that offensive line from LCC. And here's Sierra again on first down and running guys over out past the 25 down to the 23-yard line. Good for another Citizens National Bank first down as LCC is uh, chewing up clock, but they're also quickly moving towards pay dirt. Yeah, the secondary for Shawnee defense has really uh, had way too many tackles tonight. You know, uh, they played awfully hard, but uh, those are guys you don't want to have to make the tackles. But uh, between Keegan Wilson, Dominic Lynch, Wyatt Morgan, and Julian Mankley, those guys have made a lot of stops tonight, uh, but it's been not after five or six yards gained. Another break as another cramp is attended to, and we will take a timeout. 431 remaining in this one. LCC on top, 20-7 to over Shawnee. Gethsemane Cemetery is tonight's premier sponsor for the LCC Thunderbirds and would like to wish them good luck in tonight's football game. LCC in control of this one, four and a half remaining in the contest, up by 13 points, and they are moving on their way in. Patrick Hamler, Scoop Miller here with you, and this has been a, it was a very even matchup. It was all tied at seven at halftime, and ever since then, Lima Central Catholic has really asserted themselves and has really dominated in all facets this game in the second half. Yeah, they and credit to LCC. They followed the game plan to T, you know. Uh, you know, talking uh, before the game uh, with head coach uh, Scott Palti, you know, his keys were limited turnovers, which they've done. You know, win the game the trenches. They've certainly done that here, especially the second half. And also limit mental mistakes, something they've been so good at uh, throughout the years, but especially here in week one. They've done a great job of really just kind of staying on schedule, executing uh, to a high level here in the second half. Parker with the keeper on first down and gets out to about the 20 yard line and see we're going to have some more cramping here and it's something of a of a camaraderie has happened with all the cramping you've got uh, lcc guys helping shawnee guys as they're trying to work something out yeah, I tell you what, for being such a big rivalry and being such a physical game and both teams wanting this game awfully bad, we've seen some great sportsmanship, and we've also seen a lot of cramping, which you typically get, especially in the heat in August. You know, uh, it's easy to say, well, drink more water, eat a banana, get that potassium up and so forth. Right. But uh, to fight uh, the cramps, the dehydration, that's something that's a week round thing. That's not something you just do on Thursday night here. That's something you do throughout the week. It's getting plenty of rest. It's getting plenty of fluids, eating the right foods, doing all those things. But uh, when you're in this uh, 80-degree heat, mm -hmm. playing on turf, you know, it, it's bound to happen. But unfortunately, it's really starting to mount up on both sides of the field here in this fourth quarter. And as we mentioned, there's no preseason uh, per se in high school football. There's seven-on-seven -seven activity, and guys are working on stuff starting August 1st, of course, uh, where the official practices start. But nothing simulates – actually being on here on Friday night or Thursday night, as the case is with this contest tonight. Nothing simulates that. It's not until you get in there, you, you th these guys can hydrate and they can eat all the bananas they want, but there's just nothing like being in that environment until you find out, okay, we've got to get into game shape, and sometimes the only way you can do that, the best way to do that, is to actually play in games. Yeah, and credit these guys. You know, they've gone out on each and every play. Neither one of these teams has taken plays off, and we talked about the fact that uh, – you know, eight guys for LCC and five guys for Shawnee are playing on both sides of the football. And a lot of guys are also maybe on the two deep chart. So a lot of these guys aren't seeing a whole, the sideline a whole lot, but uh, they're leaving it out there. And uh, as a coach, you're probably, you always think you probably need more time before that first game. But as a player, that first game can't get here quick enough. And credit LCC after uh, really kind of getting dominated that first quarter. They have turned to tide here these last three quarters. Still attending to the uh, injured player on the field, and we will step away and take a timeout. 348 remaining in this one. Tonight's first down sponsor is Citizens National Bank. See how we're building businesses one relationship at a time at CMB Ohio. 
3.48 remaining in the fourth quarter. And there has been a lot of opportunity for catching your breath here in this one. The uh, cramps have been happening on both sides and young man helped off to the sideline. I believe this was uh, Shawnee who was the latest. It was Reese Peterson, the 6'1 uh, junior. And if you're, if you're wondering right now, Shawnee just burned a timeout. If you're thinking, wait a minute, save your timeouts. Well, if they don't burn a timeout, the 40-second play clock will start on the whistle, and thus uh, 40 seconds are going to be gone. So right now they're just trying to conserve time. Since that was a, a cramp timeout, the play clock was going to start here once the ball was put in play. So great job by Shawnee. You know, still trying to hang on here, still down two scores, but uh, they're going to have to have – you know, for LCC, they're going to need 10 things to go wrong here in the final 348 for Shawnee to come out on top. And as smart and intelligent as LCC has played, you just don't see that happening right now. Yeah, at the moment, LCC is going to need to have a number of things go wrong. And Shawnee, quite frankly, a number of things go their direction uh, in order for them to climb back into this one. But if LCC can complete this drive, 348 remaining, and almost in the red zone here on a second down and six. That would pretty much wrap this one up. Parker's going to go right up the middle, getting the Citizens National Bank first down. He's tackled around the 13-yard line, and uh, the inevitability of a Limo Central Catholic score seems to be more and more evident here on this side of the field. Uh, how impressive has this been for LCC? And it really started with that impressive drive at the end of the first half where uh, LCC was able to punch it in the end zone with 19 seconds left, did not allow Shawnee any time to get anything going. And now they've taken practically the entire fourth quarter off here in this drive right here as it's now down to 320. Shawnee down to just one timeout left here. LCC, great clock management, great execution, trying to close out and seal the deal. Parker with the carry again, out past the five, stutter steps and into the end zone for a Fat Jacks touchdown. And that LCT, LCC TD will seal the deal tonight at Spartan Stadium. Yeah, what a great job by Parker. And again, he gets some great blocks, but this is the Shawnee defense that's just really on fumes. Watch it right here. He's able to go through an arm tackle there. He's able to juke one guy there and he uh, dances into the end zone. What an impressive night here as LCC has now scored 26 unanswered points here, trying to make it 27 with Tafflicker on for the extra point. Parker with his fourth touchdown, second rushing touchdown of the night, puts LCC on top 26 to seven and Tafflinger out to apply the extra point. And that one is up and through. The T-Birds are three minutes and three seconds away from notching win number one on the season. They're up 27 to seven here on WOSN. Tonight's touchdown sponsor is Fat Jack's Pizza. Get the Fat Jack's Pizza before or after the game and enjoy their delicious pizza, fun games, and ice cold drinks. Lima Central Catholic has scored four unanswered touchdowns throughout this contest and hold a 27-7 lead over Shawnee. Shawnee got the scoring started late in the first quarter with a 14-yard touchdown run by Jordan Banks to give them the lead. Then Lima Central Catholic retaliated late in the second quarter with a 14-yard touchdown pass by Carson Parker to Sam Guagenti, tying this one up. And then really from the second half on, it has been all LCC. Here is Banks with the kickoff return, and he is corralled at the 30-yard line. Parker with a touchdown pass to Matthew Quatman early in the midway through the third quarter, and then two touchdown runs. A six-yard touchdown run late in the third quarter and a 14-yard touchdown run here just only moments ago is give has given LCC their 27-7 lead. Yeah, what a great team effort from LCC tonight. Uh, you, you talked about a lot of those guys in the skill position, but I think a lot of those guys in the trenches really deserve a, a lot of credit as well because they stayed the course after they were, I thought, outplayed in that first quarter. They stayed with it, made some good adjustments. And they've had a great uh, push here in this second half. 
Lynch with the pitch to Banks as Shawnee gets started on offense. Pushed out of bounds at the 34-yard line. A flag comes out at the very end. So my guess it's probably going to be in the neighborhood of unsportsmanlike conduct. Not sure which way it's going to go, however. Well, Banks just, just a great job on that toss sweep. You know, anytime you do a toss sweep, you need a back that can read where the hole is. And Banks is that guy. But unfortunately, it's going to come back with a personal foul. So unsportsmanlike against Shawnee. That is their third unsportsmanlike conduct penalty or of that nature tonight. That's cost them 45 yards. And uh, really 30 of those yards came on a drive when LCC was pinned back pretty deep. They got 30 yards uh, against them, which put LCC in pretty good position. And they, they've written most of the second half from that. Another flag comes out as the quick pass going out. Jaden Wheeler with the catch and getting back near the original, original, original line of scrimmage, but this one might be coming back. I think we're going to have a hole that's coming back. Nice uh, middle screen there. Nice toss. You're going to see it right here set up nicely, but I think you're going to see the uh, hold right here by 50. Illegal block in the back, and so it's going to all be for naught once again. But, uh, boy, what a big win this will be for LCC if they can uh, hang on here. You know, for multiple reasons, Patrick. You know, one, LCC has lost two of their last three season openers. Meanwhile, Shawnee has won four of their last five. But also, you have to go back to week one, 1984, the last time uh, LCC has beaten Shawnee, albeit there's only been three games since that time. But uh, to end that three-game losing streak, certainly going to feel good on week one against a quality opponent. Uh, getting out of the blocks 1-0 is always the goal of every coach. Michael Garlock with the catch is going to cut into it a little bit, but it's still going to be third down and 17. Uh, yeah, you're absolutely right, Scoop. A win is a win, no matter how you get it, no matter who it's against. And uh, any coach will tell you it's better to start 1-0 than 0-1. And, and LCC gets an opportunity to do that uh, this year for the first time in a while, as you mentioned. Yeah, and again, uh, you know, LCC, you know, they, they always play a tough schedule as well. So neither one of these teams are going to have an easy road. But uh, both these teams expecting to win a lot of football games. And what I've seen tonight, I think both these teams are certainly going to win their fair share, especially with the amount of, of heart and determination I think we've seen on both sides of the field here tonight. So we'll get this play blown in here, third down and 17. Lynch dropping back. Having to scramble around, just going to throw this one up, and that's going to go out of bounds. So fourth down now coming up for Shawnee. Well, you just can't say enough about that LCC defense. Again, uh, they've just uh, really one play away from throwing the shutout, and that uh, shutout was due to the fact that they had a big uh, return on a punt return, Shawnee did, and then they had a short field to work with. And uh, give them credit, they punched it in, got that early lead. But since that time, this LCC defense has just been stellar and has forced uh, Shawnee into way too many third and long situations where there's just not enough, uh, you know, enough variety in your playbook at this juncture of the year to execute. So fourth down, the punt is up, and it's going to take a nice Shawnee bounce as that'll be down around the 36-yard line. And, of course, the way the – Computer points in the state of Ohio work. Once you uh, defeat a team, you uh, sort of become their biggest fans, or at least one of their biggest fans. And you got to think that the Lima Central Catholic fan base will be pulling for Shawnee the rest of the season because as Shawnee accrues wins, that makes the portfolio of the playoff portfolio for LCC just look that much better, much in the same way that it helped Shawnee when LCC won all their games last year. Well, you're exactly right. You know, that's the big reason that Shawnee was able to uh, make the playoff for just a second time in 97 years of uh, Shawnee football. The fact that uh, LCC ended up going 11-3, so each of those wins benefited Shawnee. But now this year, Shawnee won't get that, but LCC will. And certainly Shawnee is going to win some games against some big schools. And there you see uh, victory formation more or less for LCC as they're going to take a knee to uh, wind things out. They're going to have to snap it a few more times yet. But again, uh, what an impressive win here week one on a great uh, crowd here on a Thursday night here. 
at uh, Spartan Stadium here in the heart of Lima. What a way to kick off the high school football season for 2022. Lima Central Catholic with a convincing win. Uh, also, I think Columbus Grove having a convincing, convincing uh, victory over Pandora Gilboa. Columbus Grove will be another team to look out for in the Northwest Conference this year. And, of course, you'll be able to see highlights and reaction of Friday night games all season long on Sports Report. Season 18 kicks off Friday. You can see it with me and a cast of characters on uh, WTLW live every Friday night at 10 p.m. Looking forward to getting into that once again. Well, I've been into that for a couple weeks now, but actually seeing what we're going to be doing here uh, pretty soon. We'll bring you highlights from all around the area. You take a look at LCC's schedule coming up, and you kind of look at their season. And again, you know, Lima Central Catholic is an independent, so they have that freedom as far as playing other teams. Opening their first for their first five games are at home, and then September 23rd is the big regional final rematch with Hopewell Loudon. Uh, Going to have a lot of eyeballs on that one, and there are a lot of opportunities to pick up computer points, and both of these teams will be fun to follow as we go through the season, but Lima Central Catholic coming out on top at Spartan Stadium with win number one on the season. Yeah, great job once again by uh, Scott Pulte and his squad here tonight. Uh, they put up 27 unanswered points here against Shawnee, coming off an impressive 7-5 campaign from a year ago. But a uh, good win for LCC here. You know, both teams got reason to come back to practice uh, tomorrow and get better, but certainly both teams can be optimistic about what they have on their sideline this season. We're back to wrap this one up when we come back. 27-7, LCC getting the win tonight at Spartan. Time to announce our Stolly Insurance Hustle Award winner. Check out highlights of tonight's Stolly Hustle Award winner on the WOSN YouTube page. Number one in your programs, number one in your hearts. Carson Parker of LCC is the Stolly Hustle Award winner, accounting for all LCC touchdowns, two on the ground, two in the air, just having a great night tonight. What an impressive performance by the uh, 6'2 junior quarterback. Uh, he just did it in all phases. You know, you, you talked about uh, two running touchdowns. Uh, but he also had those two big uh, touchdown passes. He had the 50-yard touchdown pass to Sal Guigenti and then the 19-yard touchdown pass to Matthew Quatman. But uh, more than enough for LCC uh, to end a 38-year uh, drought of not having a win against Shawnee. But uh, right now, uh, LCC celebrating. They come out with an impressive 27-7 to win here against Shawnee. All right, well, that is going to wrap it up for us tonight. Carson Parker, the Stolly Hustle Award winner. want to thank everyone who helped out with this broadcast. You see the crew there tonight. Thank you so much for helping us out again. Without them, uh, it's really just scooping me talking into a television. That doesn't really help anything at all. Glad they're bringing the sights and sounds tonight. For Scoop Miller, I'm Patrick Hamler. Thank you so much for watching. The final score, one more time, LCC 27, Shawnee 7. You have a good night. <laughs>